Greetings. Now, Axel says a lot of naughty words in this audio. Also, there's no sound effects. They're buggy. I don't know why. Viewer discretion advised. All of you, get the fuck down, Doc. Come here. Shut up. Shut up. It's the cutest outside. He's come for this time. I ain't about to let it be you, Doc. Just hold on to me. It's gonna be okay. Shh. Hey, hey, look at me. Okay, there's my Doc. My Doc with the big, beautiful eyes and those pouty lips. We still gotta make up for some lost time, right? Shit. If that made you mutt house one more time, someone's fixing the. Ugh. Fuck. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Doc? Doc? Doc! God damn it, you get away from them, you kilt talking son of a bitch! Are you fucking insane, Doc? That was the goddamn Cusit! Not some friendly dog boy you can pet after you fuck him. God damn it, mother. No, I know. I know the creepy bastard wouldn't have left without the body, but you scared the seven hells out of me. Shit, I. The dog. Uh, do you have any idea how it felt running out towards death itself? Or a harbinger or whatever. Look at me. I'm crying. I am crying in front of a whole town of people I hate and one person I. <sighs> Look, I... my aspect is that of a blood vulture. I ain't no stranger to death. I'm drawn to it. Not to eat, but just by nature. Even still, seeing that creature walking towards you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd like to cash in on that night with you. Not... Not yet. Just lie down for me, okay? God, not... God, not... Don't lift your ass like that, Doc. It's confusing the seven hells out of me to be terrified and horny at the same time. Just... Come here. Let's... What do you call it? Cuddle? <sighs> Just come here, God damn it. You make me feel all kinds of funny, Doc. I'm not sure if I like it or hate it. You remember the first time we met? Mm-hmm. Me and the boys came in here to raise hail, establish dominance, and make some extra coin. And then some gorgeous creature tried to brain me with a bottle. Wonder who that could have been. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cutest thing on the planet. And I spun around to find you pointing a two-shot right at me. Straight to the chest. Right at my heart. You looked me right in the eye, unafraid, and told me y'all best move on because I ain't sweeping up a bunch of bloody feathers. You had twelve revolvers aimed your way, and all you cared about was setting me straight. <laughs> oh yeah. They gave me so much shit when I came back with flowers to apologize. They were the ones apologizing after I stepped out of your room six hours later, days dehydrated and ready to kill for the chance to get back inside you again. Did you ever manage to fix that hole in the wall we left? Uh, oops. Nope. Still there. Keeping a memento with me beside my feather, huh? Doc, I want... I want you to come with me. Look, I, I know it's asking a lot, but I want you, 
more than I want my next fucking breath. You're all I think about, and... And I'm getting sloppy out there. Doc, I got a place for you with our hideout. A nice, safe place. All to yourself. You don't even need to share my bed if you don't wanna, but... It fucking kills me to think about you being here. Being... Hurt. And the thought of... Other people having you. I feel like it makes me sick. Not nauseous, but it twists my insides. I feel that green haze of jealousy smack me in the face like a fucking dust devil. I've... I may have done some bad things to... To mediate that. Do you remember that human that... That had beat you after he was done? Bonnie never did nothing about it because the asshole was wealthy. And... And how you'd gasp and try to hide those tears while the bruises were still fresh. Doc, I lost it. Yeah, he did stop coming a while back. Didn't he? This tone of voice don't mean nothing, Doc. Don't worry about it. We ain't talking about him. We're talking about you running away with me to somewhere safe. I will take care of you, darling. I promise. Are you fucking serious? Barney didn't have anyone to leave the saloon to, so it's yours now. <sighs> I'll handle it. Please, Doc. Please. I'm sorry, darling. I didn't want it to have to come to this. Now, now, don't you worry. I know. I know the chemicals are strong. Just don't fight it. I'm getting you home. And you won't ever have to worry ever again. You have my word that if you have me, I'll be the best damned mate any harpy has ever been. I love you, darling. I can't. I can't live without you anymore. I won't. <laughs>